All right, welcome back guys. Today we're unboxing this package from IRS Motorsport. All right, check it out. So what this is, is a sun visor for roll cages. All right, so I've got the visor back here. Let's pretend the mirror is not here. Then it would go like this. And I can't see anything. So I guess, I guess the best way would be to install it. So it's back there like that. I can just fold it down a little to block the sun. If it doesn't get blocked by the windshield banner. All right, after doing some driving, it's gonna be the best position for it right here. The only problem is it hits the So I gotta cut all this. This might look dumb like that. I'm gonna cut straight down. All right, so once I cut a few lines into it with the fresh blade, it snapped in half and then I kind of sanded it smooth with the Dremel. So let's throw it in the car. Mirrors here. So we've got the race box pro it comes with the standalone race box a mounting kit usb cable and then the external gps antenna so this is how it looks guys it's completely standalone it does lap timer drag meter you can do 100 to 200 kilometers an hour. So let's get this thing in the car. The fact that it uses like the GoPro type mount is perfect. All right guys, so after debating for a long time, I think the best spot will be right here for it. So now we just gotta figure out how to mount it there. Oh nice, okay, so I just need to install the app, add some tracks, so that's it, I mean, really easy to use i'm gonna charge it up so i don't have to run the cable so whenever the weather clears up i'll test it out all right got a few more things to unbox here the rigid colors front and rear rigid colors for the fk8 so you basically undo the subframe bolts and then slip these in and have the bolt run through these holes and what it does is it gets rid of any play that the bolt will have so it's supposed to 
smooth out any bumps you go over, like it's supposed to feel solid. And then the rear. All the links to these will be in the description of the video. I truly appreciate it if you use the affiliate links that I post because they help support me and help me make more content for the channel. All right, up next we have the Cusco front and rear sway bars. So these will be replacing the OEM parts, but of course you can always add stiffening. So I'm pretty sure this one is the front brace. And you've got the center brace here. And then I believe this is for the rear. So the handling should be significantly better after all these upgrades. Can't wait to put them in, hit the track, and see how it does. In order to do the front Cusco sway bar, you have to drop the whole subframe with the steering rack and everything. So I decided on this go, I'm not going to do the Cusco front sway bar because also I heard that stiffening the front may cause some understeer. When I eventually have to do a clutch, I'll do the clutch and the front sway bar together. Alright, so all we've done is taken off the entire under tray that goes on the front of the car. We're going to have some clips in the front and then clips on the side, 10 millimeter bolt in the rear. So the rigid collar install was a lot easier than I had thought. I was really afraid of doing it. I thought it was going to be a pain, but especially for the rear. So if you have four jack stands, get the car up on jack stands and then just unbolt the six bolts on the rear in the picture here. And then when you open the box, you'll literally see all the collars. So, I mean, this, they can't describe this any easier. Between the subframe and the car, you're going to put the red one, which is shaped like that. Make sure to grease it heavily. The grease is supplied. So once you get everything hand tightened, ratchet it down kind of snug. And then once everything is in, you can go ahead and torque it all down. Alright guys, everything's in. Got some really important tips for y'all. Start front and go from front to back. So you're going to start with this one and then and this one up here then here. And lastly, when you remove all the bolts, don't worry about it falling. It's not going to fall. It's only going to droop just enough for you to slip the collar in. You're going to want to start the threads by hand first, just so you don't cross thread anything. So when you're looking directly at your driver's side, you'll see a bolt here, this one. Same on the other side, right here. And then this one right here. So you're gonna loosen those three for the rigid collar install. You're gonna do it on both sides. The Cusco rear power brace is gonna go on that very first one I showed you. The furthest back on the car is gonna go all the way across. So 
So you can see the bolt wobbles inside. So the whole point of the rigid collar is to get rid of that wobble. As soon as I undid the last bolt on the passenger side, it dropped the subframe down enough where you can fit the rigid collar in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, check this out guys. So that's how it should look. I haven't torqued them down yet, but if the rigid collar on the top side isn't lining up perfectly, you just use a little pry bar, shift the uh, subframe over a little bit and it'll line up. And then now you just torque it down. Everything's torqued down the spec. So I'm really excited to see how it drives and also to mess with this thing, the Racebox Pro. So check out my affiliate links below in the description and, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.